Oh well. Yeah, but um, yeah, it was a uh, it was popular amongst a lot of people though who grew up with a Genesis or who live ever lived in the times as a kid or a teenager with those. I fucking hit the quarry. Uh, no, nah, just because uh, like the whole thing was I was trying to get S rank on all of them. It's pretty straightforward since it's a pretty much a beat 'em up game. They just made it now like where you have like a combo number, just exactly like how Dance Dance Revolution is, like where if you keep up with like pretty much hits without like uh, getting hit, except with uh, and if you keep up with the hits and stuff. Then Word. you know what I'm saying, but if you yeah. get hit by like the enemy players that are like the enemy uh, NPC, then it does a thing called break and it'll break your combo. But if you get like a highest combo, then you can actually uh, get up to like the highest one is like out of this world. And with one of the characters that I played as, is that I've been playing, I started playing now as Adam. Because I'm trying to like play like Mania, but I'm still practicing because I'm trying to get all S ranks for all of them, all the missions, on all the difficulties, and then I'm gonna probably play nice. all the rest of the characters. And Axel, he get he's basically the, one of my favorite characters in the game, but I played Adam in the first Streets of Rage for the Sega Genesis. And the thing is, is the first, uh, but then the other ones. Adam wasn't in those games, so I played as Axel for the uh, for like the last two. And the thing is, is Axel's really good to play as is for like a combo type of warrior type, where he's good for combos and shit. But I also I bought the game too. Was that Streets of Rage was known for their uh, electronic club house music soundtrack? Oh yeah, yeah. If you mm. like house music a lot, here I can That's actually show you one of the songs. And it's based off of like 90s and stuff like that. No, because I like house music. This is the first stage to their. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I it basically gets me uh, it gets you kind of pumped up when you're playing the game, just beating the shit out of like you know a bunch of like small gang members and shit like that though, and right. all other types. And then it happens to like where I look at it as like. You keep up with like the rhythm of the game, and it's also a little on the fast pace, and also the way the soundtrack plays too. But um, actually, I got up to like about almost close to like 286 out of this world combo, and with Adam, I only got up to like about 189. Uh, nice. Because you can actually have that. Well, I'm pretty good with that. Like, if you ever get the chance, check the game out if you ever played those arcade beat em up games before. Right. <clears throat> yeah, it definitely will. Sounds interesting. Yeah, you could do a uh, co op on there and shit. They're gonna update it soon where four players can actually play on that. Hmm. Yeah, because I was. I made some. Uh, I only talked to a few people that were on there. This one guy that was on there always like playing as Blaze, but the problem with Blaze was that in the other Streets Raids they just made her do very little damage and she would just get hit once and just get knocked onto the ground. Right. Until they made her better in Streets of Rage 3 and this one. And then you can do like player versus player also. Like, uh, make it like a fighting game, but I basically don't really see Streets of Rage as a PvP fighting game. I see it more as, like, co-op like it's always been. Hmm.
Yeah, but um. Wait, you were thinking you said you had the COVID virus or no? Nah, well, I could have earlier in the year, like September, around then. But uh, really. I don't know for sure. I don't think you probably did have it because it's just in a way. I've been hearing that it's mild, but then it goes from mild to goes to like worse and shit. I could see that. But at the same time, a lot of people been actually uh, got uh, more people actually recovered from it though. Then, really? And also had it like, and people barely even had it, like where people would have it, but they didn't notice they had it at all. I don't know if I send this to you though, but I'll send you a gameplay of what this uh, game plays like. Yeah, because like when Mike looked at it, he was like, oh wait, that looks like as if how Double Dragon plays. Oh yeah? Yeah. Have you ever played Double Dragon, but it's a lot different? Even the soundtrack to this part. You said you, li you like Synthwave also? Oh yeah. Yeah, Synthwave's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Synthwave is in this game also, actually. They were going to have a Chill Hop soundtrack, but the problem was... A couple chill hop songs, but they didn't release them due to the artist that ended up quit being part of like the uh, the crew that was supposed to be for the uh, official soundtrack. So they ended really? up having a uh, um, 